right, guys, we're here at the Blue Ridge Cotton Company. We're here for the Adams Retailer Spotlight yeah. with Josh and Gary. <laughs> we met Josh and Gary a couple of years ago, actually on Instagram, which is so fun to see. And because we have evolved into great friends with them and we had the opportunity this spring to come up and see physically come to their location. It's about an hour and a half outside of Atlanta and they're in Blue Ridge, Georgia. And it is the cutest. It is so gorgeous. It this, is such a cute place. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Okay. Hey everybody, DJ and I with Adams and Company. We drove up to Blue Ridge Cotton Company and we are here with the owners, Josh and Gary, and they've actually- In Georgia, In Georgia, course. yes. And they've actually become dear friends of ours over the last couple of years. We met on Instagram, of all things. Go figure, <laughs> right? <laughs> and so we are so excited to be here doing a retailer spotlight. They carry the Adams and Company brand, and we wanted to come here and personally tell them thank you and see their amazing store. So we have a few questions for you guys. We and knew that it was an amazing store before we got here. But just driving in, the oh, whole town yeah. is amazing. Thank you. Thank yes, this is it was gorgeous. Opening up to the main street and seeing all the little shops, it was so quaint. And we were all like, oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Everywhere we turned, it's so adorable. Yeah, but it's perfect in here with the brick. Uh, it looked like it's almost a historical building. I was surprised when you said it was just barely built. So we would love to know how you guys got started with Blue Ridge company and gather they actually have another store next door called gather and it's beautiful actually blue ridge cotton company has been six years this month that is so awesome six years and the gather is, is two. two two years okay so you've been you've been kind of expanding are you planning on taking over the whole block <laughs> <laughs> the, whole town. For now. the whole town the whole town we do have another location though in blairsville georgia which is about right. uh 30 minutes is it, did you grow up? Is this home or this is you're been here for six years or how does this all happen? Well, to come well in? we started with a cabin here eight years ago and we just came up on the weekends and, you know, it was the typical tourist and relaxing. Yeah. Um, we lived in Atlanta. We were on a cruise, actually, and walked out of a store and thought we should open a store in Blue Ridge. Yeah. So everything kind of worked out. And six years later, we have Blue Ridge Cotton Company. And one thing that we love so much about these guys and what I was so attracted to is when I first discovered you on Instagram, we started kind of talking a little bit back and forth is how much you guys do for the public, how much you give back. And it's a huge for these guys. And it's so inspiring to see how much you guys give back. And we would love to know a little bit more about why do you do that? And what's your story with, with that? Well, you know, the, Charity giving for us yeah. is, the, is the heart of business. Um, we feel very strongly about that connection to the community. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we're now in our fourth year, 1% for charity. Um, you know, it, it, it came from a great loss. And uh, we realized uh, we, we lost our son in an accident. And, 18 um, years old too. He, yeah, he's 18, 18, 18 years old, and he was a light in this world. He had so much goodness in his heart, and we knew that there was there had to be something that we continued forward for him and with him. Hmm. And the one percent for charity program came out of that. Um, so across the board, all of our stores, every purchase that's made in any of our stores, one percent of that goes to a local charity. Okay. And we, we want to look at, you know, we're, we're big animal people. So uh -huh. uh, there's a lot of rescue on that list and, and animal related charities. But we also want to make sure that we're hitting, you know, a lot of different areas. We, yeah. we want people to be fed. We want, you know, we've got a great program here called Snack in a Backpack, where backpacks go home on Fridays filled with food for some Aww, of our kids in that. need. And we're doing that. amazing things. They are just doing amazing things for kids here. Uh, feed Fannin. There's a, a tremendous volunteer spirit here in Blue Ridge and in this area. Um, people, both, uh, you know, local folks and then also our part-time residents, you know, really get involved with a lot of our charities. So we're very humbled and grateful mm -hmm. to be part of that process. So you know so many of your customers too that come in, like, you know, they're probably on a first name basis where, you know, mm -hmm. it is a smaller town, but then you also have a lot of tourism too. We do. Yeah. And they probably come in and instantly recognize there's this amazing little sign out front that's talking about the charity mm -hmm. and it just instantly makes you feel good as you're walking in like oh my word these guys are all about giving back 
Well, you know, and it, 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 it changed everything. Yeah. As far as business, but as far as like, we had a customer one day that said um, that she appreciated that program. And we said, you know, it's, it's, it's important to us and mm-hmm. it makes, you know, it feels good in our hearts. And I said, you know, it changed us. It changed us. And she looked at me with a little bit, a little tear in her eye. And she said, but it changed all of us. You've told us a little bit about your son, and that's actually was <clears throat> that was the original connection I know between you and yeah, Devin. Yeah, because it was pretty. I mean, I, it hadn't been terribly no. long. It was, and I think it was right around the anniversary of that happening when we first met. Yeah. And you were doing this amazing charity. It was Michael's red truck. Yeah, little red truck. Michael's big, big, big red, red truck. truck. Sorry, wrong one. Michael's yeah. big red yeah, truck. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he made a huge impact and still is today. Well, you know, uh, Michael loved animals. Uh, uh, he had a spirit for animals, and animals loved him back. Um, and we, you know, after Michael died in a, in a motorcycle accident, and he was traveling, uh, he had left work, and he was traveling home and um, hit black ice on the interstate, and um, was never, he, he, you know, he hit a guardrail, and he was never responsive after that. Yeah. Um, and as a side note, I, I would want your viewers to know that it's the the power of organ donation. Uh, Michael oh. was an organ donor in his short life. He had said to us and said to many people that he would be an organ donor if anything ever happened. So that was something wow. near and dear to him. So we okay. know that there's you know at least five people that are alive with his major organs, not to mention all the other great right. parts of organ and donation. So we encourage people now, we say, please mark that box. Please, you know, yeah. because Josh, it, yeah, that'll change. it gives you a... Um, that gives me a new perspective it gives on you a that. Sense. I'll tell you another uh, story about organ donation connected here to yeah. the store. We sell a shirt that says thankful, and it's been a great, I saw great it. shirt. Yeah. I noticed yeah, it. It's been a great shirt, and we've had so many people report back to us things that have happened when they wear that shirt. In know. the grocery store lines yeah, and, people and knew airport. Because they have this word have on their shirt. Mm-hmm. and. So we had a, a, a customer came up to the counter and she was almost, you know, desperate to pay, buy the shirt. And I said, well, she said, I have to buy this shirt. And I said, of course, you know, and I, I said that to her about that there's, you know, be, be warned that the, this shirt is pretty powerful that you're going to, she goes, oh, I already know what thankfulness is. I know the power of that. And she pointed across the store to uh-huh. this gentleman, you know, probably six foot eight, big guy. Um, and she said, he was going to die. Six months ago, he had a liver transplant at the very last part of his, what was going to be his life, and he's alive. And so we had this great moment because we haven't gotten to meet any of the the families yet, but it was almost a surrogate moment where we got to go and to be present with this gentleman. And it was very interesting too, because he said, um, I struggle with guilt right i struggle with the loss that somebody else had oh, that's wow. keeping him and, alive and i, I think looked yeah, yeah i looked at him in the eyes and i said i want you to put that away forever because from this side it gives us hope it gives our life you know that meaning of, of continuation you know it, the going that, on it affects all of us and and oh, and you know and he just kind of melted a little bit because someone had finally said to him it's okay. Mm-hmm. And that's why, too, that kind of goes back to the, that we feel that the business yeah. is so much bigger than just selling items. And, um, Love that. and I think that's one of the things we're so attracted to is because that just goes without saying with you. You just, we just know that it takes seconds, even looking on your social media, like you instantly glance and you're like, oh, these guys are all about that. It's, it's so much bigger than selling stuff. Well, I think the initial connection we had with, with Adams and company yeah. was that idea of bereavement and what does sorrow look like and for a lot of people that's a hard thing and a lot it of is, companies yeah. it's a hard thing but you put it forward in your catalog in what you sell and I think that was very powerful for us because mm-hmm. we needed we needed somebody to be saying the things saying that, that our hearts okay. were saying it's yeah, okay that's right. and, and what know, our supporting. customers were also needing yeah. to hear and we have a whole section now of those type of things. And we've had some amazing oh, yeah. experiences with folks and sharing space with them in their grief. And 
and some very fresh and some yeah. 20 years later. Do you keep the kind tissues? Of do you have a tissue? We do, in that section? <laughs> For all of us. Yes, for all exactly. of us. And customers have actually said thank you for having that section. Yeah. yeah. Because oh, that's you don't wonderful. see that a lot and it's needed. Yeah. Well, and you know, going back to the, the spirit of this community in Blue Ridge, yeah. um, when that happened to us and we were, you know, at such a lowly place, we would get to the store and there'd be flowers on the doorstep or there would be, we would be open and someone would walk in and they had no words for us at that point, but they would hug our necks, you know, and that meant everything to us. And that's, you know, being in a small town community that, yeah. that values that, that was, that was pretty important. Yeah. And to Huge. go from Michael being the organ donor and to experience that. And then when you had your customer come in and was the recipient for you to kind of witness and experience both sides that feels like there's one thing to read about something another to experience it from one side yet another to get the full circle i mean what you're doing here is palatably um powerful yeah. <laughs> thank you yeah thank you see this is what you guys do to <laughs> us <laughs> They're really Thank good you. at bringing up emotions. <laughs> <laughs> that That's is what you will experience point. at Blue Ridge. <laughs> well, you know, and I think it comes down to the idea of grace in everything that we do, you know, to each, to our customers that come in, to our community, to our vendors, to our, you know, our families, every, you know, it, it, that idea of being on the giving side of grace is, mm. is pretty powerful. You know, we have that opportunity. We all have that opportunity. And that's how the world changes a little bit. That's how it shifts towards the light and shifts towards love. When we're in, even walking in here, I can feel it mm -hmm. in my heart. You know, I think I said, I'm like, I feel my heart growing. Just, yeah. you know, there's something about the energy that you guys bring. And another thing that you have is this beautiful dog Watson <laughs> is your store absolutely is your he mascot. your mascot do you call yeah, him your mascot or is he the guard or yeah. what, you know what no he's 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 actually when we talk about um the idea of social media he's the star of our social he media is the star we always laugh show. because if we put his picture in a social media post then it's going to get some attention <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well he's awfully darn cute he is so I mean, cute watson is a rescue he's a rescue from a, a, a rescue here in blue ridge called tri-state pet rescue they were actually or they are the recipients of michael's big red truck and oh, wow. um, they I didn't know that. yeah they do a uh, an amazing for years they've done an amazing job uh, moving dogs from kill shelters to no kill rescues uh, they adopt locally but they also transport to many many partner rescues across the eastern united oh, okay. states um, so michael's big red truck is that transport vehicle for that so when it, it was approximately three and a half months after michael died that the truck was delivered we asked people in that in the, in the time in between to join us and to raise money to buy mm -hmm. that truck and we thought Maybe it'll take a year. Maybe it'll take two right. years. Uh, we we knew how much we needed to buy a truck, and uh, in the course of about two months, we had forty five thousand dollars in hand, ready to purchase the wow. truck with cash. So wow. it went on the road almost immediately. Um, I think I'd have to get official numbers, but I think mm -hmm. we're over six thousand dogs that have been moved with the Ooh. truck. It's just goodness rolling down the road oh, right. at all times. So. That's what these guys are. It's pure yeah. goodness. thankful and grateful that you let us come yeah, up thanks. and take over thanks your for, location yes. <laughs> thank you for being pulling here. cameras in here <laughs> and we're just we're just thrilled to be here and thanks for carrying the adams and company line oh, that's, being an ad give us give us an adams retailer well thank you because yeah, well. you know it's people like you that have are allowing us to be able to do this you know and to be able to go and and say thank you in person and get to see where you know, our product, our designs end up and it's fun to know the story behind it because I love thinking that these things are going to places that mean something to somebody. It's not just like you said, it's yes. not selling stuff. There's meaning behind it. And so it's, it's fun to see where it, where it all ends up and Absolutely. the store's amazing. Well, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks Thank for you being guys. here. We're Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thank you Josh. So You're, well, I'll hug your neck too. <laughs> yeah. We're in Georgia. We, we hug, we hug necks around. Right.